Good day, West Seattle. Thanks for joining us for West Seattle Daily, episode number 11, brought to you by Seatown Real Estate. I'm your host, Christian Harris. The first step in crafting the life you want is to get rid of everything you don't. Joshua Becker. It's officially the... It's officially the start of the first week of 2020. We hope that you've had time to settle in after the holidays and feel hopeful and energized for the year ahead. We thought it might be fun to bring attention to creating space and opportunity within your homes. As we take down the holiday decorations, it can be a good time to look around our homes and declutter. Have you gradually accumulated far more stuff than you ever intended to over the years? The ability to let go of various things living in our home, taking up not just space, but emotional energy, might just be the inspiration you need to choose your 2020 goals. Remember that each chance you find to let something go brings an opportunity to invite something new into your life, including a little white space, not just aesthetically speaking, but also emotionally. It's good to give yourself some room to breathe. Just because you have space in your house or in your calendar doesn't mean you need to fill it. With each item that you pick up throughout the house this week, ask yourself, does this item bring me joy? Or if you're anything like me, ask, does it serve a purpose? Does it have a home within your home? If it doesn't, you probably don't need it. Reevaluate different spaces and reorganize where it is needed. We wish you the best of luck with creating space for your new intentions and goals in 2020. Keep only the things that speak to your heart. Then take the plunge and discard all the rest. By doing this, you can reset your life and embark on a new lifestyle. Mary Kondo, author of The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up, The Japanese Art of Decluttering and Organizing. We'll catch you all tomorrow.